that's hot but I just want to rip one open just so y'all could see like you know juicy they didn't take long y'all they just oh my gosh y'all bomb what is popping my youtube fam welcome or welcome back to the channel y'all let's get right into it so on the menu today you guys we are going to deep fry some thin sliced turkey breast cutlets look how affordable that is okay so these are super de duper thin so of course i'm greedy i had to get two packs two packs actually these look thinner. That first pack looked thinner. Anyways, y'all. So, boom. We doing deep fried turkey cutlets. This is the seasoning that I am going to use for my turkey cutlets. Feel free to use any seasoning that you and your family enjoy. If you have my all-purpose seasoning, that would be a spectacular option as well. So, you guys, listen. Deep fried turkey cutlets. I have no idea what... Let me see if y'all can help me with this. Well, no, y'all ain't gonna be able to help me because I'm gonna be already done cooking by the time y'all see this video. Boom, she tripping. So y'all, I'm thinking about deep fried turkey cutlets and then I'm thinking about like, I just, I don't feel like cooking today. Let me just keep it real. That's why I'm glad them turkey cutlets is thin. We go crisp them up, deep fry, golden brown. But y'all, I'm thinking about making like a raggedy mac. Like I never had this before, but it was like so on sale. I was like, listen, I'm getting with Annie's. We gonna see, cause you know, you could spruce it up. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I don't know. So I'm thinking about doing something real raggedy like this. Cause I do not feel like making a homemade mac. So like I bought this and then I bought... <sighs> Y'all, I just be having, oh my God, so much different stuff, y'all. It's pathetic. But, here go a different kind, I think, right here. So, boom, and then it was this one. So, like, a r real raggedy, real raggedy, like, you know, hamburger helper, move over, we not have, that's what I should be making is some hamburger helper. Because that's, like, quick, ground beef, forget it. Then, you know, we got some rice. Should I do rice, y'all? But then we got this down here, but I don't think stroganoff is going to hit with no fried turkey and then of course you got to keep the cheddar what should i do i got some uncle ben's i don't know y'all or should i do some beans some zatarans so y'all i don't even know all i know is that i'm having the fried turkey i don't know what side but i do know it's gonna be in between sauteed green beans for the vegetable or brussels sprouts or sauteed brussels sprouts but y'all let me clean my turkey up, season it up, okay? And I am going to go like the mustard and hot sauce route because I just love the way like mustard do fried foods. We we go, we about to fry this up just like we about to fry chicken, y'all. So stay tuned, y'all. Hopefully when I come back, I can let you guys know what side we are having. But honey, I'm trying to do the minimum today. It is rainy here. It is gloomy. I'm tired. It's an off day. I'm chilling. I ain't got to cater nothing. I'm trying to get dinner done for the family quick. Now watch I do the most though. Lord have mercy. Stay tuned, y'all.
okie doke guys so now you guys I am at my deep fryer and all I'm about to do you guys is take my cutlets which are nice and beautifully seasoned with the mustard the hot sauce and the seasoning of my choice and see how thin they are guys like this is not gonna take long at all and that's why I did two packs also because I'm like listen we going through these Yo, sis could probably eat about three of these joints. So, all I'm about to do, I also season my flour, you guys, and put a little bit of parsley in there so they look can look nice and pretty. But, I am just about to coat these really, really, really good. I'm going to press the flour down in there because, I, you know how when you fry something and... Like you think you go come out with a nice thick crispy coat and then it'd be like a thin whack coat. I don't want a whack coat a whack coat on these. I want like a crunchy crunchy thick not thick batter, but y'all know the ones that get it get it. But I'm gonna keep pressing it down. I don't want to do like an egg and milk and all that stuff. I you I don't usually even do that with my chicken. I like to just fry it the old fashioned way, but y'all. This is the process that I'm gonna do. And then it's gonna look like this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, you guys, is just let them sit for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna dip them in the grease. So you guys stay tuned, let me finish battering those. All right, YouTube fam, here is the finished result. So I ended up going with the raggedy lazy macaroni but I did add a little bit of my own cheese I added some Velveeta of course some seasoning and it came out pretty creamy and pretty good y'all I also sauteed some Brussels sprouts which is delicious um, I also made some buttery rolls I told you I was gonna do too much and I also made some um, yams here oh excuse the steam and you guys the star of the show these deep fried turkey cutlets. Y'all, when I tell y'all that these cutlets, look at all the nice cinnamon on there, on them yams. Okay, never mind. Okay, deep fried turkey cutlets. When I tell y'all they came out juicy, listen, y'all, it didn't take long at all. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. But I just want to rip one open just so y'all can see. Like, you know, juicy. They didn't take long, y'all. They just, oh my gosh, y'all. Bomb. And you know what, you guys? Surprisingly, they taste just like chicken breast. Like, it really does. Like, I never deep fried turkey cutlets, but y'all, it tastes like chicken breast. So good. But this is how they came out you guys this is what i made quick easy tired ready to go to bed eat sleep go it's over but hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like share subscribe all that good stuff i appreciate you guys i love you guys thank you so much for six thousand subscribers it is overwhelming like unbelievable overwhelming i appreciate you guys so much and you know what i cannot wait to see you in the next video everybody stay safe and stay blessed Mwah!